The verdict on the Namaginal Massacre case will be announced at Camp Bagondiwa tomorrow, but nowhere is a judgment more anticipated than in Ampatuan town itself, ground zero of the tragedy. Now let's talk to one of our correspondents, Jenny Dong, who will be reporting to us live from Cotabato City. Jenny, you were in Maginidnao earlier. What are the townspeople expecting? And the relatives of those slain in the Maguindano massacre who can't make it to Taguig City for the promulgation are expected to gather tonight and await for tomorrow's verdict, a verdict that they have been waiting for 10 long years. It was 7 in the morning on November 23, 2009. Arnold Fernandez was supposed to lead the convoy of the wife of Ismail Toto Mangundadatu. She was to file her husband's gubernatorial candidacy against Andal Ampatuan Jr. But one call changed what could have been a deadly end for Arnold. Sabi niya, Uncle, nasaan na kayo? Sabi ko, nandito pa sa bahay ni Asim Liman dahil paalis na kami. Sabi ko, no, Uncle, huwag kang magsama. Walang lalaki sa atin ang pasamay. Babae lang lahat sa atin ang pasamay. Death threats aren't uncommon in this part of Mindanao, says Fernandez. But he didn't expect this one to end in the brutal killing of 58 people. Para sa pananaw namin ng babae, except nila sa ganong brutally, lalaki lang ang uh, idamay nila. So babae ang pinasama namin doon. To this day, Arnold still feels a stinge of guilt. Six of the 58 killed were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. One of them was Freddy's brother on his way to Cotabato City for work. Ang family man, nag-move on naman. Oo. Kasi wala naman tayong magawa. Oo. Pinapas sa Diyos namin ang lahat. Uh, I hope, no? Uh, of course, tomorrow yung uh, promulgation, tawag ba yan? No? Uh, sana mabigyan ng justice yung 58 na vic victim ng massacre. Yun naman ang prayer naman na, na mga, vic mga victims. No? Residents of Ampatuan Town hope that justice will finally prevail so they too can finally move on. Kasi kami mga Siberian, gusto namin malaman kung anong katotohanan ba sa maginlano masakar. And to prevent untoward incidents, security has been tightened around massacre site in town in Ampatuan town in Maguindanao. Meanwhile, tomorrow there will be a mass in General Santos City and to be followed by a press conference by the families and relatives of the massacre victims. Ed. Thank you, Jenny. Reporting live from Cotabato City. 58 people were killed. These include 32 members of media, mostly from General Santos City and Coronadal. Uh, of that number, one body was never found, that of Reynaldo Bebot Momay. 20 members of the Mangondadato clan, including supporters, were also killed. That includes Toto Mangondadato's wife and his two sisters. Six motorists mistaken to be part of the convoy were also dragged into the scene. 197 suspects were initially charged with multiple murder, including Zaldi Ampatuan and Dato Andal Unsay Ampatuan Jr. and Patriarch Andal Sr. 117 have been arrested while 80 suspects are still at large. 52 of these suspects are police officers. 70 suspects filed motions to post bail but only 11 were granted. Charges against 9 others were dropped including 3 who were allowed to become state witnesses. 8 of the accused died during the, the period of trial, among them Andal Sr. who died while in detention on July 2015. Now let's look at the records. The decade-long trial has accumulated 165 volumes of records of proceedings, 65 volumes of transcripts of stenographic notes, and 8 volumes of prosecution's documentary evidence. A total of 357 witnesses have been presented, 165 for the defense and 134 for the prosecution. Among those that were presented were three suspects turned state witness. And finally, the cost for bail. RTC Branch 221 Judge Jocelyn Solis Reyes set the bail at 200,000 pesos for each of the 58 murder cases for a total of 11.6 million pesos per suspect.